What's up, Hans family? Today, I am a demon. I'm a demon from the show Crazy Head, which is on Netflix. And I love how they look so damn much on that show. The show is really fucking funny in the first place. But the second I saw that demon, I was like, yep, need to put that shit on my face. I know I've been slacking on the body paint, so I had to hitch up the semi-detailed one. And this is mainly done with eyeshadows, so it's pretty attainable to do. But anyways, let's get to it. Starting out with my sassy ponytail I got going on and the NYX Micro Brow Pencil just because it's really thin to draw out the entire outline of the look. With this, I am looking at a reference picture the entire time. The demons in this show really piqued my interest because it looks like they have a fire burning inside behind all of their ripped, rotten, kind of decaying flesh. So a reference picture will absolutely be key. And they pretty much to me look like zombies. They look like zombies with burning fire desire inside of them. So just draw out where you are gonna have the general outline of the mouth and the holes in the neck, the holes in the face, and some of the scars on the flesh. And obviously make it your own, make it fit your face how you want to. Using the NYX Total Control Dropper Foundation, I take that palest shade, so you know it's pale girl friendly, it's almost fucking white and I just put a light wash all over my skin, kind of keeping away from the inside of those holes that I already drew out. This is Stealth Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, which is like a cool kind of toned uh, grayish brown, and this will act as the general shadows for the face. I'm just going around the sides of the face, around the eye sockets, and a little bit around where these holes are gonna be. For most of this look, I'm mixing eyeshadows together. I'm mixing Stealth and now Mars, which is from the Manny MUA palette from Makeup Geek. So you guys may either have to use a different red shadow or something because this does not come separate, which is so sad because it's one of the most beautiful reds. But anyways, I use this to start intensifying our features. And wait, wait a minute, I block out my brows. I forgot to do that. So do that before you start the look. I've shown you how to do this in another tutorial, so I'm just gonna skip through it. Now that that's done, just keep intensifying those features. What this darkness that we're putting on our skin ultimately means is where the skin recedes. So any there that there's a wrinkle or there's a little indention in the skin, that's what we want to create. I jump around the look a lot because this is just going to be our first general color we put down. There's going to be a lot more detail and a lot more layers to come. Switching to a thinner flat brush, I take Mars, Stealth, and a little bit of dark brown. I'm using Fudge from Anastasia. And now is when I'm going to really start to darken out these little features. On the forehead, I even use it to add a very light veining effect by putting the color down and swirling it around just a little bit so it looks under the skin. When darkening up, the darkest shadows always go to where the skin recedes inwards the most. So just like under the eyes where that socket is, that is real dark. Continuing to look back at my reference picture here and there, I start to draw out where the snarling wrinkles are around the face and where some of these little holes are. Some of these holes don't necessarily go through the skin to show the burning inside, but it's basically like scarring to make the skin look a little more raw and kind of roughed up. Can you guys believe I'm still sick? I'm still sick right now. This is just insane. Anyways, now that we have that second layer of shadows down, I am just going in with a third layer keeping more to the red tone because now I want it to look really, really irritated. A smaller round brush will come in handy when you are working in the smaller areas around the cheeks, just because the cheeks have so much going on, so many little tendons here and there, and we want it to look super realistic with lots of crevices of the scarring and indentions of the skin. Just want it to look real nasty, real nasty like. And when doing these little dots, you want to start with your first little layer and blend that out completely and then mainly keep the darkness in the middle of that little circle. That'll make the skin look like it's going down inwards into this little hole. Do your other side just the same. And when it comes to the neck, if you don't want to do your entire chest, just add more of that veining effect coming down onto your chest a little bit out of these bigger neck holes. That'll kind of keep your chest cohesive into the look. Still using that smaller brush we talked about earlier, I am now incorporating black into the look and I can't stress this enough, use the tiniest bit. And even when I'm using the black, I'm still kind of layering the other colors on top. We just wanna darken the deepest little spots of the look, but not make it too intensely black. That'll distract away from the entire realism of the look. I also forgot I wanted to add some more little pieces and bumps onto my forehead, so I did it just the same that we were doing it on the face. 
blending an entire area out and then darkening just the center. Okay, for the fire inside, this is my first time painting like a fiery kind of look like this, so I was a little intimidated, I didn't know what to expect exactly, but I filled the holes in first with some orange body paint and added some more little holes while I went because that's the coolest fucking part of the look, so you gotta add that everywhere. And then with Morocco for Makeup Geek, it's just a dark orange, I start to darken around the edges of the fire to make it look like it's a little more alive. Just in some random little spots because that'll help create some movement through the fire. To deepen everything up, I'm using Mars and a little bit of black mixed together towards the top of the orange circle just to show where the shadow of the skin is going down onto the fire. And for some reason, my light kept going on and off and I was like, what the actual fuck? Also, please don't judge my one long side of my hair, I'm trying to grow that side out, okay? And I was a little sick, so it's a little greasy. Don't judge me, monkey, but I finally figured out my light. It wasn't a ghost, it was okay. Keep the shading a little random, but I found that keeping most of it orange really helped to emulate fire instead of darkening way too much up. I even ended up lightening up the center just a little bit with a little bit of yellow and white paint mixed together so it was nice and bright, but darkening the edges helps it to look like the embers are starting to burn around the sides. And it also helps to make it look like it's actually beneath the skin and not just part of the skin. As I was working on my neck for the fiery parts, I realized that I was kind of lacking on my neck. I wasn't giving it the attention it deserves, so I just added a little bit more of that scarring and redness around there. And onto the mouth. I always, always leave it for last, or at least try to, because I usually am drinking something or eating during the tutorial. But I'm just mixing a little bit of brown, white, and yellow paints to make the teeth, just so they looked a little more aged. And the teeth on the demons are a little goofy. They're not like normal skull teeth. Some of them are a little kind of messed up, a little crooked. So try to draw the teeth so that it hides your actual lip line. Hiding the part of your lips will definitely give more of that realistic feel. With a pink, I just mixed some white, red, and brown paint together to get this color. I added in the gums around the teeth and helped to define the teeth a little bit more. When mouths are drawn this way, the two sides would be the darkest because that's essentially going deep into the back of your mouth. So you want to add a lot of shading there and I'm just mixing together the dark brown and Mars. Add a little black underneath the skin because the skin would be showing down a shadow onto the gums. And with black body paint, just define the inside of the mouth, which would be between the two rows of teeth. Pick up a brown eyeshadow, you can use the same one you're using earlier, and just shade around the tops of the teeth. This also helps to define them from each other and to add a little shadow between each other too. Again, these teeth are really decayed and aged looking on the demons. They ain't cute, so you can make them look real nasty. Adding brown shadow all over the teeth on the two opposite sides is going to help because it makes the center pop out more, making it look more curved around your actual face. I added in some gum lines really quick with some eyeshadow and a few more little finishing touches to darken up the look. Still using a very small brush now to add a few more holes around the face because that does make it look a little more ripped up and a little more raw, which is what the demons look like. With Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer, just perfect for beauty and perfect for some special effects. I'm just gonna highlight the look a little bit. And when it comes to highlighting, you don't need to highlight absolutely everything. Basically, what you're trying to do with the look is just highlight right next to the really dark shadows or the skin that's maybe hanging off, like over the mouth, or some really thick pieces that in real life would catch the light because they are so far up above the face. The eyes are just a little too bare, so I added some more of that red shadow just messily all over. And the ear that is going to be exposed needed a little color too, so I just quickly covered that since I'm not going to be wearing a wig. Add some more holes around the neck if you didn't already. And give me a second while I take down my hair. Hair is down, we looking cute. Add a little bit of red liner in the waterline. And some more red just around the entire eye to make it look more irritated. 
God, the one tutorial that I do where for some reason my eyes aren't red looking at my bright lights. Why? I wanted red eyes, but no. No red eyes for me. But anyways, that is the entire look. I really hope you guys like it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something and had fun watching it and like my demon face. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love the fuck out of you guys and I will see you later. Bye. Holy shit. Now I'm gonna go take lots of cough medicine and lay in a thousand blankets. Literally a thousand. One thousand blankets.